Hello and welcome to episode 1 of my Java game tutorial series. In this series, I will be creating a Java game from scratch. You ne need no experience, and I will bring you through everything, hopefully explain everything, and it should be fun. Um, this sh is going to be a tile game, where you walk around. It's going to be very simple, but hopefully, from the knowledge I give you, you're going to be able to add as much as you want. But don't worry, it'll be a playable game, and it will be awesome. So, let's jump right into it. Let's create. Let's, you have to open Eclipse. I'm not going to bring you through that, but I will link, if you need help, I will link a tutorial in the description to show you how to install Eclipse and set everything up. So, go up to the top left, and go File, New, Java Project. You won't have all the, you won't have this option, so don't worry about that just Java project. And now this comes up. So uh you have to create a project name. Now this can be every anything you want. So I'm just going to name it tutorial. Um I recommend Java 1.7. So you can either use that or if you want to use 1.8, that's fine. Just yeah. So don't worry about hitting next. You can just from this menu just hit finish. So now it'll create this here. If it has any errors, just give it a minute and it will automatically solve all those errors. So now open it up, then right click the source and hit new package. Now a package is pretty much where it will be stored, and you can name this anything, but the format that I use and it's kind of a normal Java convention is your domain backwards if you don't have one just here's what I do me dot and then my name which is or my username and then dot and then the name of the game so I'm just gonna put tutorial and then dot main all you have to worry about is make sure that you have the dot main this here you can have whatever you want so make sure that's unchecked and then hit finish. So now you will see this here. This is a package. So let's hit new class and let's name this class window and hit finish. Don't worry about any of this and just hit finish. So now it should load up something like this. So let's jump right into it and I will get it and I will explain it as we go. So let's create a JFrame frame. Now what a JFrame is is it's kind of the window. So see this here, like the, the window up here? This is a JFrame. I'm not sure if it's actually JFrame. I'm not sure what language Eclipse is written in. But the frame is, the JFrame is like the frame around the image. And it's what can't, it, it, outside the window. Anyways, so now let's create a constructor. So on in Eclipse, all you have to do is type window and then control space. And it opens up this handy menu here and then all you have to do is go to this one which is which is even labeled constructor and hit enter so now it automatically creates a constructor you can remove this and now now all we have to do is specify a few more things so we'll create a public int width and a public int height We'll also create a public string, and this will be title. So the title is what shows up on the top. So now, this constructor is going to have to take in a few variables: int width and int height, and string title. Now. I will explain this this up here if you don't understand it. I will explain it in the next tutorial. Just kind of hang in for now. So then we want to do this dot 
width equals width. This dot height equals height. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Mm, oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Let me just pause it. I'll be right back. Alright. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so let's continue this. This dot height equals height, and finally this dot title equals title. So what this does is pretty much it sets these three up here, which I'll show you how to set those in the next tutorial, and it it sets these up here. It sets them to this. So that's it's kind of hard to explain. Well, it's not hard to explain. Hopefully you get it. Anyways, so now let's continue. So we're gonna have to create three um, new methods. So public void init, public void tick. Actually, I'm sorry, that should not be in here. <laughs> so let's just create a public void. Um, actually, publics, no, just public void, create frame. And we can call this at the end of the constructor. So, create frame is going to initialize this frame here. So, let's do frame equals new j frame. And this and then here we'll put the title and then we can do frame dot set size to width and height okay so that does that next we want to do frame dot set default close operation to j frame dot exit on close. So that will make sure that when you hit the X button on the top in the top right or the top left on Mac that it will close. So now we want to set frame dot set visible to true. So that should be it. And now we have the first class. The thing is we can't run it yet because we don't have a main um, a main class that runs when we start it up. So that will be in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you.